Merci. What can I say about such generous praise? I want to start by saying, here we stand in what used to be the Museum of Civilization, and I stand as a British Columbian member of parliament from Coast Salish territory, Haishka, and I'm standing in front of longhouses of Haida, Duchalneth. I mean, every first, and here we are, like, has anyone bothered to mention, I am honored to stand on the traditional terry of the Algonquin nation. Thank you, Megwitch. And since Perry Bellegarde is here, I want to mention we stand on his traditional territory too. And I want to say, like, what the fuck was wrong with the rest of you? You didn't notice we're standing on traditional territory. Like, what doesn't scream out First Nations about this stage? Well, anyway, the rant endeth here. I'm here and honored to be here among my colleagues, allowed to speak when you all want to go home. I stand having missed my girlfriends, Megan Leslie, born in Ontario, representing Nova Scotia, and Lisa Raitt, born in, Ontario, born in Nova Scotia, representing Ontario. But really, that would have been my fun moment, but they don't let me in on that. I don't know why. I, I keep begging, Lisa, Megan, what can I do? I want to be a backup girl, do up, do up. Anyway, I have very little time to share with you what must be important, which is to say, <clears throat> we've now heard from the only three of us as federal party leaders, but there are four of us. You know, voici les quatre chefs des partis au niveau fédéral et les questions clés, c'est que lesquelles ce n'est pas comme les autres, comme des autres. Peut-être tout le monde pense immédiatement de Stephen Harper parce que il est le chef qui n'est pas ici. Toujours, il n'est pas ici. Il n'a jamais participé aux le grand soirée des journalistes parlementaires. Now, when he first didn't come to the Parliamentary Press Gallery dinner, and I have to admit, having way before I was in politics, when I was at Sierra Club, I paid attention to the Parliamentary Press Gallery dinner. It never occurred to me that we would have a prime minister who didn't show up, right? It's been nine years. Okay, I gotta calm down. It's been nine years, and we wonder, at first, I thought, he doesn't show up because he's shy. He doesn't know how to do jokes. He has no music to thing to do. But I, I, maybe he doesn't like to be among qu'est-ce que tu peux exprimer les... Maybe he doesn't like to be with humans. But the thing is, now we know that's not true. He can do funny. He can do music and he still doesn't show up. I don't get it, I really don't. I mean, he should be here. That's what prime ministers do. They show up to be humiliated like the rest of us schmucks. So, I've begun to think about it and I thought about, I really appreciate, by the way, thank you, Press Gallery. Thank you for returning to our traditional origins. I thought, well, maybe he's afraid of the tradition. You know the tradition, the flying bread roll the jettisoning of baked goods. Maybe he suffers from a really significant extreme manifestation of gluten intolerance. <laughs> but I think, yeah, there's gotta be a closet here somewhere. You know, he doesn't have to face that all by himself. So it's, despite the fact that Stephen Harper isn't here, it's not of Stephen Harper whom I speak. Which of us as leaders is not like the other? So, okay, I meant me, because there's a couple of things about me that are different. I'm gonna go fast, because last year I mentioned I'm the oldest, you know that now. I'm the oldest one, I think you know this, but I'm also the only leader with artificial parts. You do know this, I don't mean my boobs, I mean my hips. My hips are both artificial. The right side has a consumer malfunction part, the security guards, Sarmin so, Son, you can tell them, I squeak. I walk through the floors of Parliament and the guards have told me, Madame May, you cannot sneak up on anyone. Because this is a part they don't use anymore because it squeaks. It goes some days like a chirping grasshopper, 
other lays like a really bad squeaky screen door. I'm not kidding you. Some of you know this is true. My daughter said to me, Mommy, you are to Stephen Harper as the crocodile was to Captain Hook. <laughs> Only you go, squeak, squeak, and he went, tick tock. But never mind. Some of the other leaders, in fact, may have artificial parts, they just haven't admitted it. So we're not sure, I mean, I don't know for sure about Stephen Harper's hair, and I'm also not sure about what the hell the liberals have done to Justin's hair. What the hell? We need a global movement for the liberation of curls. Who decided that it was important to, to lacquer them down? And I don't know about what other artificial parts. I'm not going to go into to Tom Mulcair here because it's not fair. Because I think he's going to be perfecting his Rachel Notley imitation, which may involve losing facial hair. But the thing about it is, I really did mean me because what about me is not like the others. Lequel de celle-ci, c'est pas comme des autres. Évidemment, je suis une femme. I'm the only girl on the leader team. I'm the only woman running. I mean, I don't believe in running for prime minister because our parliamentary system of Westminster parliamentary democracy means all MPs are equal and none of us are elected to be dictator. Sorry, Stephen. The thing is, our parliamentary democracy is all of us are equal. But the thing is, I'm the only woman party leader. And I know what men immediately think. Because the poor boys, they really bought into Freud. That whole sexual maturation thing on the Freudian scale that we go from the oral, I'm not going to eat the mic, into the anal. God, I don't want to think about it. Or the genital. Guys get stuck on this Freudian stuff, so they immediately assume that I'm envious of the things the boys have that I don't have. They assume that I suffer from classical Freudian debate envy. But I no longer do. Praise the Lord, free at last. I am not suffering from debate envy because Thanks to a few of the boys, I get to be in the debates. Yes, it will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And I am happy to say we are all equal and we get to participate as equals. So that's that on that. But you know what? I have a completely deranged and not, there is no sequitur. This is a non sequitur. Do you guys ever wake up with old theme songs? from former black and white TV shows that you never thought your kids would ever see and they're running through your head. Like every now and then I wake up thinking about, Lisa, you've got to wait. Lisa, I wake up thinking about a horse is a horse, of course, of course. This morning I wake up thinking this. Why am I thinking this? Do you guys wonder? Please, hang on. Uh, we wonder why you're thinking that too, but you know Wait, you know what? Do you guys remember the theme song? Welcome back. Who knew Cotter was spelled K-H-A-D-R? Welcome back, Omer Cotter. It matters to say it. Welcome back, Omer Cotter, you're home. Does it strike you as unusual? I didn't use up my time. No, you didn't. There's a lot unusual about your speech list, but we're going to take off. Omer Cotter, you've got more class than the whole fucking cabinet. Thank you.